Hello and welcome to Manual 1 of Excel Master Series. In Manual 1, you'll learn how to use Excel to create charts, histograms, correlations, covariances, and solve problems involving combinations, permutations, the normal distribution, t-distribution, and the binomial distribution. Let's take a look at the table of contents. If you click in any of those sections, you're taken to that section of the ebook. Let's take a look at our first section, creating a chart. And here's a typical data set, pet population in the U.S. And I walk you through step by step, showing screenshots slowly and carefully, how to create this final chart that you're looking at right there. And I also show you how to create descriptive statistics for those two data sets, as you're looking at right here. And our next section is how to create a histogram from a typical data set like that. I walk you through step by step, and here's the final histogram that you'll be able to create the very first time that you take a look at this ebook. Second chapter is combinations and permutations. Every chapter uses lots of problems to illustrate a different aspect of the topic. And I show you all of the Excel formulas and how they're used, and then we start going through problems. And it's typically just one line of Excel code. If you didn't know Excel, you'd have to do that amount of math to solve the problem. Here's another example. Just one line of Excel code. Otherwise, you'd have to do an awful lot of math. We don't waste your time with any academic theory, just problem solving steps to make you an Excel statistical master quickly. And here's a typical problem on permutations. Once again, it's just one line of code solves that problem if you know Excel. If you didn't know Excel, you'd have to do quite a bit of additional math to solve that problem. Right there is what you'd have to do. So Excel saves you a huge amount of time. The next chapter is correlations and covariances. We show how to create correlations between two variables, between multiple variables, the Excel steps that you'll need to know to be able to do that, and covariances, the same thing, between two variables and multiple variables. And there's the covariance matrix output of Excel. We'll show you how to read that and how to create that. The next chapter is the normal distribution, a very rich chapter. And we go through each one of those sections. For example, here's the one section on the 68 95, 99.7% rule, and all of those sections are illustrated by graphs, and those graphs are created in Excel. We show all the different formulas that you need to know to solve normal distribution problems, and we have a graph that illustrates the final solution, and you'll know exactly how to use Excel to solve these problems. There's the Excel right there. If you didn't know how to use Excel, and there are the resulting graphs, if you didn't know how to use Excel, you'd have to look up in z-score charts. For example, here's problem three, and here's the graph and the Excel that you would need to solve that problem. If you didn't know how to use Excel, you have to go to a z-score chart and know how to use it. You have to break out your big, thick textbook, look in the back, and that's not a lot of fun, and remember how to use that stuff. Here's another example of that. Here's the problem and the resulting graph and one line of Excel code. Otherwise, you've got to go look things up in the z-squared charts. Knowing Excel is a huge time saver. It'll make you a functional statistician. And here's the next chapter, t-distributions in small samples. Very rich chapter as well, and we use lots of graphs to illustrate all of the points. For example, we're showing with graph that the t-distribution resembles a normal distribution after degrees of freedom are right around 30. And we go through a very extensive problem in the t-distribution chapter. We'll show you all the different formulas you need to know to solve that problem, how the problem works. And once again, if you didn't have Excel, you'd have to look things up on the t-chart and know how to use it. There it is. You'd have to know how to use that chart in the back of your big, thick statistics textbook. Otherwise, you can go right through Excel and do it. And we illustrate the problem with the graph as well. And those graphs are created in Excel, by the way. Our last chapter in the book is the binomial distribution. Very rich chapter. And we go through the whole chapter showing all the different formulas that you need to know, and then we start using them in problems. So you'll be completely familiar with how to use Excel to solve these different problems. If you can, solve, if you can use Excel, you can solve the problems very, very quickly. For example, that problem is solved with just one line of Excel code. If you didn't know how to use Excel, you'd have to do a lot of math. This is the amount of math you'd have to do to solve that previous problem. We're going to scroll through it. All of that math, otherwise one line of Excel code. Makes your life a lot easier. 
And that's Manual 1 of the Excel Master Series, the fastest way to climb the Excel statistical learning curve. And you can also purchase, in combination with Manual 1, the Graphing Manual, Manual 4. The Graphing Manual has the lessons in streaming video. We're taking a look at one of our video lessons right now, and how to create the normal distribution graph with a probability density function. Each video starts with varying the parameters for that distri distribution so that the interactivity can be shown and reflected in the chart. And I walk you through each distribution, how to make the X and Y data sets. I go through it slowly and carefully. You'll be able to do this the very first time you see one of these streaming videos. The videos are streamed right into the e-manual. You're looking at excerpts of this video right here. Each streaming video is a bite-sized five-minute video, easy to absorb. And we don't, as we said before, we don't waste your time with any academic theory. We show you exactly what you need to, to solve problems and create these graphs. And there are a lot of little tricks you'll learn in Excel. Right here, we're showing how to create the graph after you've already created the X and Y data. And there are lots of things that we're going to show you to make your graphs really professional looking that maybe you didn't know. A lot of tricks in Excel graph making. And this manual, Manual 4, shows how to graph many, many different distributions. Here's one other video in here. Suppose you had to graph the outer 2% tails of the normal distribution. We show how to do that in one of our five minute videos. We walk you through it. We're right in the middle of that video right now, showing how to create that graph. It's a little five minute video. Everything is step by step. You'll be able to create that graph the very first time you see it. It's explained very simply and slowly. You don't need expensive software to create great graphs like this. Excel does a fine job. You just need to know how to use it. And that's what I'll explain in each one of these videos. So we're just finishing up this graph right here. The chi-square distribution. You'll see that once you create these graphs and vary the parameters, the chi-square distribution has one parameter, degrees of freedom, and as you're varying it, the chi-square distribution resembles a wave rolling from left to right. You learn a lot about these distributions by creating them and then varying the, the parameters of the distribution. You'll be able to make this what you're looking at right there, an interactive graph of the chi-square distribution after seeing the five-minute video one time. And the chi-square distribution does not have a formula in Excel. We had to derive that formula, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's a pretty complicated formula, but I'll show you what's in every cell. It's complicated. And here's the T distribution, same thing. That formula also had to be derived. And I walk you through step by step, showing close ups of each cell so you know exactly what's in each cell. What are the contents? Very complicated formula, but I make the process simple. We walk through it step by step, and you'll know exactly how to do it. It's a five minute video. And for example, here's a process called verifying the inputs for each one of your cells. I'll show you how to do that and how to make sure that you have the correct inputs for each one of your cells from which the X and Y data axis is derived and the three parameters to vary. Here's the binomial distribution. There are two parameters. The binomial distribution, the number of trials and the probability of success on each trial. We're varying that and watching the distribution curve jump around. And the final chapter in the book is the F distribution. It's, I walk you through this distribution showing all the different parameters of the distribution, explaining what it's all about. And then we walk through a problem of the F distribution. Uh, the F distribution typically uses ANOVA, analysis of variance. And Excel has an excellent ANOVA function. I go through that, show you how to use it, and how to read the answer. I use color coding so that it'll be very clear what the answer means and why it is the correct answer. So if you'd like to be an Excel statistical master, get a copy of the Excel Master Series. It's very reasonably priced right on the website. And here is Manual 4 of the Graphing Manual. Okay, thank you very much. And goodbye.